All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris. How y'all doing? I'm so glad to have you with me on Cyberry.it. Um, so we're gonna. This course is going to be an intro course to mobile device security. And uh, so a little bit about me. You can probably tell from my shirt. I'm a military veteran, wearing my grunt style shirt. Um, I'm a network engineer and an Army reservist with over 11 years active duty. Uh, two branches of the military in the Navy and the Army. Uh, been the last five years, I've been in the Army Reserve supporting cybersecurity in the U.S. Army's networks, both at home and abroad. Uh, something in the Army inventory, I've probably done it. I've, I'm an Army certified network engineer. I've primarily been focused on um, DOD, Department of Defense networks, the last five years. I have a broad range of experience to include uh, wide area networking, local area networking, firewalls, IDS, IPS, Active Directory, Server Management, Network Monitoring, Network Security, Switching, Routing, Routing Protocols, VLANs, Encryption, uh, and etc. I also use many security tools, offensive and defensive, like Metasploit, Nmap, Kali, or Parrot Linux, and Wireshark, which we will definitely get into some of that. I possess uh, several industry certifications, including CISSP, Certified Ethical Hacking from EC Council, Linux Plus, uh, LPIC Level 1, and I'm a SUSE Certified Linux Administrator. Currently working on Red Hat certifications as well as the EC Council Security Arctic course. My civilian education, or my uh, education, is uh, a bachelor's in computer science from the U.S. Naval Academy. So I was a programmer in my, my original uh, track, uh, as well as a master's in, of science in information assurance from the University of Maryland University College, uh, or UMUC. I've worked in senior technical positions with companies like BAE Systems, SAIC, and CSRA. I also recently obtained a graduate certificate in cybersecurity from UMUC. Uh, so the prerequisites for this course, we're going to be uh, a computer with uh, the ability to run VMware or VirtualBox and some flavor of Linux, like uh, Kali or Ubuntu. We're also going to get Android Studio, so that will allow us to... Uh, create some test apps and run the Android emulator and see what that looks like. I don't have an environment set up for iOS, so I apologize for that. And the third thing that will be helpful, though not required necessarily, is a smartphone. Uh, programming knowledge is not required, though it is very, very helpful. And of course, as always, the desire to learn is a plus. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. The course description uh, is this course will be designed to increase your knowledge of mobile device security and how to prevent your device or devices you might manage from being compromised, pwned, taken over, or otherwise manipulated. Smartphones and tablets have become uh, ubiquitous and are rapidly replacing computers as the go-to devices of choice for both personal and corporate applications, banking, shopping, communication, or business functions. So you might ask, why should you as a security professional care? Why do you care about mobile devices? Well, the short answer is most likely you probably have one or know someone who does have one. Um, you might even have two or three. You might have smart home devices. You might have smart tablets, Google Homes, Chromecasts. Um, there's no telling. So businesses are starting to realize more and more that they must plan their mobile security strategy for both their internal corporate network or their protected network and their customers that use uh, their personal mobile devices to do their banking, their healthcare. We call that public facing uh, apps or public facing devices. Companies can no longer afford to have mobile devices as a separate portion of their business or something they can outright ban. If you come from the military or have worked in any time in the federal government or on government contracts, you'll know that most mobile devices are tightly controlled and they're managed by something called an MDM. Uh, what is an MDM? An MDM is a mobile device management platform, also sometimes called an enterprise mobility management platform, like Good Mobility Management, AirWatch, you might have heard of Mobile Iron, Symantec, which uh, their mobile uh, app security uh, product was formerly SkyCure. And uh, many times in the DoD, personal devices are never permitted, uh, I should say, mandatory uh, <laughs> requirements are that personal devices are never permitted to access government networks or be plugged into government networks. So upon completion of this course, you will have a much better understanding of problems with the mobile operating system as well as the operating environment. So you'll be well equipped 
to educate your CTO or CSO or CEO, or you might be the, the owner yourself, um, about the risks that are inherent in mobile devices. So um, learning objectives. So moving into uh, the first learning objective we'll be talking about will be what are some of the key issues affecting modern mobile devices? Uh, we're also going to look at some of the attacks that can affect mobile devices to include phishing, smishing, man-in-the-disk attacks, malicious Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, malicious apps, third-party app stores, and SIM swap attacks. Uh, the third objective will be understanding mobile-based attacks. How do hackers conduct these attacks, pull them off, and also potentially pivot and to take over uh, other network devices and other network systems. So the concept of app executable code. Every app is written with what is known as the executable code, and that's one of the attack vectors that many times uh, attackers use to compromise. Uh, simply reverse engineering a mobile app and putting it back out into the wild or potentially uh, downloading it from a third party or a non-approved app store like unlike so you're not downloading an app not from the Google Play Store or not from the iOS App Store so uh, the next learning objective will be able to understand how to secure and protect mobile devices from hackers um, things like antivirus things like security permissions things like app permissions uh, the USB debugging de developer options all those things we'll talk about all that um, also how to conduct mitigation and remediation on a mobile device once an attack has occurred what kinds of technologies that are out there to do that and things to look for and then some of the strategies that you can use to fix uh, some of the problems so then the next learning objective will be able to understand technologies like mobile device management, mobile threat detection, and enterprise mobility management. What do these acronyms mean? What do they do? What do they not do? What, what, you know, which one's better than the other? Because reality is you're going to have a combination. It's going to be a cornucopia of technologies. You're not just going to have one security appliance or one security apparatus. So uh, the next learning objective will be able to understand mobile app technologies like encryption, app hardening, app wrapping, app containerization, and obfuscation. So, uh, so we'll go over a couple qu uh, quick things here real quick. Um, so I can switch over to my screen here. So some of this is me. Uh, this is my LinkedIn profile. So I am a security engineer for uh, AppVision. Uh, that is my company. But so if you want to connect with me, yeah, there's my LinkedIn. Um, and so some of the things we talked about. Uh, there's all kinds of resources out there that we'll be touching on at various uh, different times. Uh, this is one of the websites I like to use. So they have great tutorials on how to do things. Um, the key is just to having a desire to learn. Um, other things like uh, hacking loops, they do lots of mobile pen testing framework. Um, so why do we care? Here's 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 part of the the problem. iOS 12.1 just came out, I think yesterday, or the day before, and there's already a uh, a compromise for it. So um, just to, to show you, in 2018, it doesn't matter. Um, apps can still be compromised, and they do get compromised. Um, on a regular basis, even even despite advances in security and, and new fancy tricks and tools. Um, so, other things we'll talk about: how to hack a Facebook account by knowing the phone number, uh, SIM swapping attacks, activating a phone on another network. Um, lots of different uh, places, um, lots of different places to find information. Um, here's one of the areas where, if you don't have Cali, you can go here uh, and download an official Cali image. Definitely do not want to download it from anywhere else than the actual official uh, store uh, virtual you can actually even download which is the one I recommend um, the actual VMware image for Kali because that way you'll get the exact uh, pre-configured image you can just import into your virtualization solution of choice and then of course there's Parrot Linux which is kind of like um, Kali on steroids it's it's designed to be more of a up-to-date modern um, OS for hacking. Let me get back over to their actual page here. So Parrot runs on GNU Linux. It's it's very much like Kali, but it's got a lot of different builds you can choose from. So uh, we'll talk more about in, in depth of that as we go through the course. And uh, 
the last thing I just want to leave you with is that uh, there's no one size fits all solution. Um, bad guys are out there. It's just going to happen. Um, so we'll, this is what uh, you should end up with if uh, once you get everything installed here. Let me see if I can resize this. I'll move myself over here. <laughs> Apologize, I'm I'm still learning this software myself, but. Uh, so with Kali, the nice thing about it is it kind of puts all the tools in one place. There we go. Okay, so one of the areas we'll be we'll be first looking at here is in uh, reverse engineering some of the um, Android tools here. So APK tool. Dex2Jar, EDB debug. We'll go over all these tools in the course. Uh, Ollie de debug, Raid Array. Um, there's there's a lot of different tools uh, that people can use, but ultimately we're going to take apart an Android app and put it back together. And uh, also we'll do some payload crafting with Metasploit and uh, the smartphone pen testing framework. So I really hope you guys uh, are excited. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to uh, be teaching. Because um, I learn very much by, by doing, and I, I, I learn from the students always. Uh, there's no doubt about that. So 100%, um, if you have questions, um, definitely message me. Definitely, uh, this is my first uh, foray into teaching not in the military side. So sometimes, as they say, the old martial arts instructor, the teacher often learns from the student. So, okay. So to wrap up, uh, as I will demonstrate, and I have demonstrated, even in 2018, with new security measures in place, mobile devices are more vulnerable than ever, and they continue to be targets for malicious actors. We talked about some of the key issues governing mobile devices, the various types of attacks, and techniques used to protect mobile devices and mobile apps. Um, thank you guys very much, and we'll see you in the next one.